Yay. <laughs> okay, I'm testing out a little experiment because I'm inside an infrared sauna with Lachlan. Lachlan? Hello, good morning. AK. 19. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if this is going to overheat or how long this is going to last. I have an ice pack on the back of it, but we decided to go live. Um, Lachlan has never done an infrared sauna. No, and Danielle just explained to me what it actually is, which is... Infrared saunas are infrared lamps, which are over here. <laughs> which give the heat your body tissue instead of heating the air. So right now it says it's 164 degrees Fahrenheit. But basically what she explained to me is we're sitting in a big microwave. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which probably doesn't sound good to most people, but <laughs> it's basically, it heats your 80% of the heat that the lamps give off heats up your body tissue and 20% heats up the air. So it doesn't feel very hot in here, but at about 15, 20 minutes, our heart rate will start getting up because our bodies are pretty getting pretty hot. I sit in here, I do this a lot, and I sit in here for about an hour. Lachlan has never done it, so we're just going to test out. It's been... Three minutes and I'm already sweating. <laughs> Do you already feel like you're sweating? Yeah. I'm like, oh. um, the benefits too is it's supposed to be really good for your skin, for uh, fatigue, for stress. For all I love it and I do it as much as I can. But um, we're gonna test it out and kind of explore in here. Does anyone ever done an infrared sauna before? Is a question. Yeah, this is all very new to me. Like I didn't realize this was. A thing, but it seems really cool, and it does feel different than a normal sauna because it doesn't feel painful. Yeah, I yeah, don't. I, like feel like I feel like I can't breathe. Yeah, yeah. Like, where yeah. sitting in a big microwave is a lot more fun. And check this out. So it comes with this uh, cool chakra board, right? <laughs> and you can change the colors of the lighting. So it's a little. You get it? Ready? Like, look at this. What? Blue? What's the Blue. next one? Oh. I don't know. Red? Red. Pink. Red? Pink? Green. Like, we're basically just having our own little disco in here. <laughs> this is awesome. This is this is what Danielle does to me on... <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, which one? There was one that was strobing. Are they all kind of strobing? That one green one. I think it was. that on for a minute. But yeah. Oh. This is the sort of stuff that Danielle gets me to do on a Wednesday morning at 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm crazy, and we all know it. Oh um, but did someone say they've been in a sauna? I've been in a sauna in Finland, and I hated it. I feel like I'm dying after about 30, minutes, 30 seconds. The, the saunas I don't like. Do you like that, too? Because, like... Steaming sa steamy saunas? I like those for about 10 minutes. Yeah. And then that's it. Especially on a cold day, which is most of America right now. But, that's um, true. The girlfriend's going <laughs> yeah. through everywhere. Is everyone else feeling cold? Because it's cold everywhere in the United States right now. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, the steaming ones, they're good, but just, yeah, for like 10 minutes and then that's good. I'm done. I like the steaming ones a lot, but yeah, yeah you can't stay for very long. Mm. The actual hot saunas I hate, like the ones that are made of coal, yeah. like that they yeah. just Painful. get, yeah. Painful. So I'm with you when you said that you couldn't, but infrared's different. It kind of feels like, I, I always said before, um, I was like, it's like a microwave. <laughs> yeah. I used to say that it was like kind of if a steam room in a sauna had a baby. Oh, Does it feel like that right now? I know. <laughs> but it's fun. We're in this like tiny little room thing that's all high tech and cool. It? Yeah, look. <laughs> this is our house. Look, I can't even stand up, I think. Anyway. Oh, just. Yeah, just. <laughs> Our tiny little room. This is great. It's called a social sweat. Usually I'm just in here by myself listening to some like. One of us won't survive. <laughs> Who will it be? <laughs> um, I'm usually listening to some like meditation thing. I see the stories coming there. Um, let's see here. It was six degrees here. Okay. That's cold. Yeah, so it's been crazy. So I live, used to live in Chicago. I used to. I live part live in Chicago half the time. They had 40 inches of snow in the last three weeks. Isn't that oh crazy? Oh my gosh. See, yeah. I would love that though, because every time I was in Chicago, you know what happened? It didn't snow. It didn't snow. Like every single time I was there. Oh wow. Which I know people living there are probably like, please tell her to shut up. Like, yeah. But. <laughs> no, it is. It's crazy. I saw photos. But I love so it. It's like this feet of snow and it's just like, like you're driving through canyons See, on the but street. I wouldn't drive through it. I would just, that would be my excuse to stay in. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the excuse anyway. Like, oh, it's sunny. I'm going to stay in today. <laughs> Um, any other questions you guys have for us about being an infrared sauna? I have to figure out if I can put this on that stand because my arm is going to get tired. Danielle's literally... Oh, here, let's switch. Danielle's literally holding a, uh, an ice pack. 
behind the phone. To keep it, to keep it cool. Keep oh, should I grab that? See if I can get it to stand in here. Uh, you could go for a minute. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, okay. while we're in here, let's talk Station 19. Okay. It's been a minute, because I haven't seen you in a minute. Because you're off doing other things than what Emmett's doing yeah. all the time. I don't even... See, this is where I get scared, because I'm like, what have we left off on? I don't remember. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Yeah. That mm. me and you have seen each other? Yeah. Yeah. Big. And so, I wonder what's going to be in the future? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. We have lots of ideas and theories and fun things that we want to happen, uh, but that's not what always happens. It kind of, you know, anything can happen. Anything can happen. We were like, so where are we leaving off? So what are we doing? I'm like, I don't remember what last aired, and I'm getting confused with what we shot versus right. what's actually been seen by people. And it's been crazy because so COVID's obviously happening, and it's yep. made everything different. It's made everything a little more difficult to do, and so oh, we kind yeah. of you kind of shoot what you can when you can. So you're shooting episode ten at the same time as episode three, and the same as seven. So it's all over the place. So it kind of gets yeah. a little. Um, I don't want to say chaotic, but confusing. You kind of don't really know what's... It is, and right now we're about to basically be kind of filming three episodes simultaneously. <laughs> oh, which, yeah, <laughs> trying to keep straight of, like, what it is is happening and what is, um, right. all that kind of stuff. Right. Uh, it's exciting. I think it is it's exciting. exciting. Yeah, People are asking story points now, and I'm like, I can't tell you anything. I'm sorry. Um... People are dying. Yes, I knew that it ended with Robert and... Robert and D. It's weird to call him Robert because it's Sullivan. You sweating? Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> this is... Um, this is sweating. I remember what it ended with, but it was like, there's little nuances in episodes that I don't know if, if they've happened yet. Right, that's the other that's thing as well, because... Thing. Yeah, I've got to watch what I say, because I don't know what's actually... That's I know. Is your brain kind of being like, what has happened, what has happened, bit. what has happened? And I, I know, bit. like, the main story points that have happened, like, the big story points that are going on, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of, like, they say the A storyline, the B, C, and D storyline, and a lot of times, too, you sometimes... I think, as everyone knows, we have way too much fun together, and it's just effortless working with her. Yeah. So, um, it's been good. It's been good because, like you said, with COVID, with the restrictions we've been having, mm -hmm. it's really hard. Like, people have said, it kind of takes the fun out of working on set it, because you're so restricted with the mask. I mean, we're being extremely responsible with the mask and, and the shield and the six feet of separation and the constant hand sanitizer and two people to a room and, like, all this kind of stuff. And right, so right. You catch us every once in a while when we're being... Um, like crazy on set and like you know getting yeah. to like have fun and like find a little cubby hole to like take our mask off and say hi but for the most part it's kind of hard so to be able to work with her Sometimes is your skin. Oh, really? Like, you already have amazing skin. You'll be fine. But like, oh my gosh, the next day or even today after we're done, you'll look at your skin. It's just glowing. Like, because really? what's supposed to also do is like draw out all the toxins. Oh, okay. Which they always right. say that. I am not a medical professional. I have no idea what toxins is drawing out. I'm not really sure. I, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, you want, how's your arm shaking? It now? doesn't. It it's it's good. Doesn't it start to shake? <laughs> it's all great. Whoa. <laughs> and it's like wet. Um, here, I'll do that too. So we're both there we go. Um, it is getting very wet. how her skin looked after okay well that's yeah. exciting i'm excited yeah. i'm excited to do it um any questions it's a lot of hearts a lot of hello hello brazil hello oh, argentina is argentina right there hello There's argentina a lot of argentina ones let's see let's, let's see. see i know i'm always like waiting i'm like 
Philippines. Hello. Wow. Um, what else can we... I know our arms are so freaking tired. We didn't... This was a... I told you this was a test. We were like really trying to see. I was like, I don't even know how long the phone's actually going to last in the infrared sauna. And that's why I have the ice pack. <laughs> the ice pack isn't even that cold anymore. So I wonder how much longer... I have a stand outside the room that I can put the phone on. But then we would have to ask questions over whiteboard. So hey, before I have to put the phone on the stand, you guys send some questions you want me to ask Emmett or questions you just have in general um, about infrared saunas or about the show or about anything at all. And I will... Um, um, put them on. Hello, friends. Temperature. The temperature says mm -hmm. 168. You want to see? Yeah. I don't think that, I can't imagine that's accurate. Hang on, what's it in Celsius here? Okay. Oh, okay, 76, yeah. Oops. Could you guys see that? Yeah, so 76 Celsius, 167. Okay, that's warm. So water boils at 100. Yeah, no, we're definitely above even the boiling of, yeah. So, well, we're not boiling temperature. No, that would be like, pretty disturbing. We would literally be dying in here, but we're above that temperature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I say dumb things sometimes, and I'm like, wait, no, no, I didn't mean, yeah, you know what I meant. Oh, hey, I've got a question Lachlan. for you. I've got yeah. a question for Speaking you before we go into the thing. Did you watch the Britney Spears doc? I did. I did. Thoughts, questions, free, concerns. Hashtag free Britney. Free Britney, right? <laughs> um, you know, it's always been one of those things that's like, it's such a disturbing thing to watch from the outside to actually get some insight and it made it more disturbing. Right. Um, I just hope it educated people and I hope it, I hope it, I just hope she's happy. Like, I yeah. think in the end result, as long as she's happy, um, but it's just sad too to see like anybody who's like that famous always ends up, you think of the Michael Jacksons, the Britney Spears, the trying to think of whoever else right now it's like so many people it's like why mm. does it end up No, it is. It's that's that's what I found. I was I couldn't believe some of the stuff that she was asked, and then I actually didn't know about a lot of the things that the had conserva happened. Conserva conservative, conservative, yeah. I didn't, I didn't really know much about all of that, but then also I didn't really know a lot of the stuff that had happened at, you know, when she, quote unquote, lost her mind. Do you, are you but, talking about with Kevin Federline and like the kids and like the just yeah, just all of just kind of really all of that. I didn't know all the details, so I was like, oh shit. Well, it's sad because so, I feel like when it happened, like even the her and Justin Timberlake breaking up, I remember being like a kid in high school and that having such an impact because everybody was everybody was like, I loved Britney Spears and everybody was like, she cheated on Justin and he basically <laughs> confirmed it, which thank God he's apologized for now that he basically, um, you know, took part in or benefited from a misogynistic and sexist right. industry. Right. Um, because he did, because then everybody was like, oh my God, how dare her. Right. And it, it, the story doesn't, doesn't elaborate the point is, is it doesn't matter right. like those things shouldn't actually be public um yeah and it it's not just, of our business it's, it's none of, of our business and it's weird i mean breakups are never easy so you can't imagine like going through a breakup and then she's being um and then they're claiming that she that she cheated on him and he admits right. it and then then the things he did in like the radio interview he did where he like admitted sleeping with yes so, yeah yeah it was yeah. Just it a was lot just... of messed up things that you think how and growing up in the spotlight like how yeah it was uh, yeah it was you can't, they, she didn't sort of stand a chance in some ways and especially against all of that no that crap no one was there to help her so anyway Made sense like, to me, and I'm hashtag like free Britney. Here, I'll stand. There you go, close to you. So we're not like yeah. that's the frame. <laughs> we're um, getting real sweaty right yeah, now. Yeah, can you tell? Um, but we both loved. Um, did you watch Stephanie's interviews? I haven't watched uh, Stephanie's interviews from that, um, but I saw you guys uh, cut together some clips that I'll have to go check out. Um, did you guys watch Free Britney? I want to know. Have you seen the show for the first episode back? I think it looks amazing. The mm. first episode.
you want water? I do. Dr. Levi Schmidt. Dr. Levi Schmidt, could you guys hear that? Can you hear you? Awesome. Squeeze that before. That's great. Oh, darn, I kind of like the idea of the button right now. I'll just drop it. I'll just drop it for it. Um, it's it's back. Think about that. I did pull it when I looked it up. I was like, why does it look like it's supposed to look? You guys, I thought I thought of everything. I thought I got the ice pack and the whiteboard and the waters and the stand, and I forgot that it shows up backwards. Um, okay, so questions. Thanks to everyone for letting me know. I want Emma and Schmidt together. <laughs> that would be so nice. That would be so much fun. Talk a little louder, please. Okay, I'll talk a little louder. <laughs> Oh, I can also just do this. We just do that. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so go. can you guys hear us better now? And I don't have to write backwards on this. Someone said favorite Britney song. What's your favorite Britney song? Oh, Stronger. I mean, come on. It's usually because it's really fun, fun years in life. Yeah. Yeah. All of them, though. Like high school. Yeah. High. Like I lived off Britney. Same. It was like 1999. Baby one more time. Yep. Everyone was like, that's so cool. I was in like seventh grade. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. I remember when I was watching. That was living. <laughs> when I was watching during the documentary too, how it showed her at like all the high schools like performing and stuff. Yeah, that's right. And, and the mall. It came at out. The mall. So crazy. Insane. So crazy. Okay. Can you say your last name? Whose last name? My last name? What's your last name? Buchanan. And mine is Savory. It's not Savre. Savre. <laughs> I know. It sounds so much better because you speak French. Mm -hmm. Everyone speaks another language around me. Stefani speaks.
Excellent. Oh my gosh, Costa Rica. Oh my gosh, I want to go to Costa Rica. Okay, favorite subject in school, Danielle. Um, favorite what? Favorite subject in school. I'm just going to blast math. you with some math. questions. You liked math? Yeah, I was a weirdo that liked math. I Apparently was... I'm sharing the sauna with a psychopath. <laughs> Math, really? What? I was just good at it. I don't know why. I don't oh. know if I'd be good at it anymore, okay. but I was good at it in high school. Okay. Yeah. That's fair enough. Were you, um... What about you? Oh, uh, for me, French or agriculture. Really? Which makes sense because you yeah. speak in agriculture, which yeah. is amazing we have because... Lachlan makes the most amazing, like, what are they called? Succulent? Oh, succulent arrangements? Succulent yeah. arrangements. He's also Dude. amazing at plants. You know more about plants than anything. Every time he comes over to my house or look in my backyard, you're like, we talk about plants and what <laughs> I should put in and what will live yeah. and thrive and how to not kill plants because mm -hmm. I kill plants. That's Something good. else about you. So that makes sense that you like French and agriculture. Sure. What yeah. were you going to say before I cut you off? Uh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I cut you off. No, but those okay. are your favorite subjects. Yeah. Okay. I know it's hot, our brain's something for It's, yeah, I'm kind of like dead right now. Okay, if you have to pick another carrier, what would you choose? Is I think this career. Like, oh, career. Yeah. Yeah, what would you, okay, if you want an actress. A lawyer. If you want on stage, a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're full of surprises this morning. Am I? Okay, what kind of lawyer? Uh, corporate law. Corporate law? Who is this person? <laughs> I like contracts and like... I don't know why. Okay, like Is filling that... things out? You like to fill stuff? No. Okay. Law class. Wow. Sounds right, very boring to most people, I'm sure. What about you? If you weren't an actor, Ooh, what would you do? You would be the hottest lawyer, they said. Oh, thank you. Thanks <laughs> for saying that. I wouldn't have all the people do my hair and makeup as much, though. <laughs> right, Denise? Right. Um, what would your career be if it wasn't acting? Travel show host. Oh my god, you did, like, you pick really fun ones. Well, that'd be so, that's what I wanted to do originally. There's really? a show in Australia called Getaway, and I always wanted, I was actually, I went to the I was signed up for college yeah. to study journalism yeah. because I wanted to just like that seemed like a good route into it yeah. and I just wanted to be a travel show host just to travel around the world and be like look here's some amazing food that I'm eating or like look I'm sitting in an infrared sauna somewhere so you're kind of <laughs> living it oh yeah well we're not in like the Swedish Alps but yeah okay. I mean I just as close as I could get during a pandemic yeah that's <laughs> this is pretty this is pretty damn good um okay what's your favorite tv show Right now, I, um, well, I have to admit, my, my guilty pleasure was Bridgerton, I will admit. Yeah. I binge watched that. I loved The Queen's Gambit. Yeah. I loved yeah. Um, Ashley. No, not Ashley. What's her name? I can't remember her name, but this, uh, she was, she's a Anya, Anya, Anya Taylor mm. Joy? Something like that, yeah. I should know her name. This is a disgrace right now. Mm. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm like reading. Um, so here's one. So. You what? work with Stefania so much. She's yeah. extremely Italian. I feel like she is her character. Like, she loves food. In a way. Like, she loves food. In a food. way. Ooh. In a way. There's a lot of things that are not like her at all, which is True. really funny. I suppose she... the Italianized part of it, she is. Yes. She is that. Right? And even to some so... extent, like, she's like, she'll kind of get mad because she's like, I wouldn't do this. And I have to remind her, like, <laughs> Stefania, but this isn't you. This is Karina. Like, it's right. a different character. But um, she is... There's a lot of similarities, but there are a lot of differences too. What was your right. question like? Well, no, I was going to ask, so you've, you spent a lot of time with her. Like, does her Italian, do her Italianisms rub off on you? Like, has she taught you some Italian words? No, but I... Yeah. <laughs> hey, someone said that they love our robes. Yeah, how cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love them too. I wish we could buy them. They're from the place that we're at right now. Yeah, I love a good robe. Though. I love a good robe. It's like a, it's not hot, but it isn't too, it's not, it's soft. I don't know. Kind of looks like crepe material. Yeah, I do, well, I do feel like I'm in a microwave. Have I gotten better at Italian? What's happening? What did I do? I have not gotten better at Italian. The reason I said it like that is because I suck at Italian. I suck at learning any freaking language. Um, but you, I think you would pick up a language very quickly. Someone just said Spanish. I'm like, that would be, that's a, a good one to learn. 
I've yeah. learned a lot because, um, you know, Spanish is pretty, we have a lot of um, Spanish-speaking people yeah. in Southern California, mm -hmm. so yeah. it's actually, I got pretty good at that, like I know, and not, they, you know, everyone, everyone I feel like speaks two languages, English and Spanish, or mm. French and English, or, or Italian and English, or everybody, I don't, but I'm trying to learn at least Spanish because I feel like it's something I could really use I'll here. learn it with you. I've tried. I've learned a couple things, like oh, um, yeah. Erica and David and David and Marcos, people that usually are at my house and work at my house. Oh, and stuff, cool! Are constantly like helping me. Study. They're like they'll, they'll walk me through and they'll say things in Spanish, so I know like what certain things are. But nice. it's kind of the yeah. best way to learn is to try to talk it. So I'm trying to yeah, adapt the habit of like immersion. Yes, yeah. trying to learn as much as I can. But it's somewhere to start. It is. I think that's good. I think we it's are great. lot, so it makes me feel better. Yeah, that's oh, good. Okay, thank hey, you. so some questions that I thought, yeah. and I was like, good call. I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you think Station 19 will ever release the gag reel, the blue? And as the seats yeah. go on, I feel like there's more and more because you're more comfortable as a cast, and so yeah. you're joking around more and like. We do. We kind of like you, yeah. You set people up to fail in some ways. Like we just like to just ruin their scene for them, so they start laughing or. Every moment, hold the knowing of that moment, particularly of your inner state. If there's anger, know that there's anger. If there's jealousy. <laughs> that was. So very well same so. <laughs> um okay perfect well sweat i crazy and this i think the whiteboard is melted in my lap um so we're gonna continue sweating we'll do a little story of us getting out being completely drenched and so you guys can see it um and don't worry i'll take good care of danielle so she please does do. not overheat we have plenty of water we've got Me a too. lot of towels and we have a disco light so once again <laughs> you know what, what what could go wrong <laughs> We should have just done that the whole She's time. Just done this the whole time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Hope you guys had fun. If you're interested, try out an infrared sauna. Speak soon.